Good evening fellow group riders, Will for World Electrical Services. Welcome back to another episode of Electrician TV of which my arm is getting soaked. Roll the intro. Oh, <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> morning we're back at this uh, little job we've got ollie here, here with us we've got ollie because right. he was here for the last time but we've found these uh, spike lights which i think are collingwood and there's one whisker box there so i presume it must be the driver for this all these ones are the ones that are flashing yeah it's got to be in it and then them ones there we're going to try and pull them out see if we can get the brand then we've got a faulty one over there a sensor over there which i bought the wrong one and we've got to put a light up there so all in all should be a nice day today so we'll get this, uh, see if we can find the driver. So is there two, two flexes going into that then? Yeah, two flexes. So we might have to dig up one of these and see where... Yeah, I know, there's another one there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but there's no flexes no, going no into flexes it, is it? it? Yeah, right, if we drop that open and have a little look, see what we've got. They are Collingwood ones, aren't they? What, the lights? Yeah. I'm not too sure. Well, I'm going to need to go put me out on anyway because it's freezing. And I need to prepare for the uh, wearing a hat for my new barnet tonight. The plot thick, thickens, Ollie's found that. So this one's got two, two of the leads, so we presume that that probably does those. And wow, look at that. Ah, oh, yeah, it's got a uh, transformer in it. Yeah. The state of ill. Yeah, what size is it? So that is a, I can't read upside down. Yeah, we'll take a photo. Yeah, no, it's all bad, isn't it? Oh, but saying that though, the uh, 240 ones they've done in the, uh, yeah, show that, give them a quick tour of it all. Those are those gel ones, aren't they? Yeah, they have, they have put gel in them. They should be filling the whole box. Yeah, the whole right? box should be filled. Cause there's, there's water, you can see the way the water's got in. Okay, uh, is it worth, do you think it's worth finding the uh, the other one and then just swapping them over? Nice little worm. Um, what, the other big whisker box? Yeah. Do us a massive favour, like. Do a massive favour, like, subscribe, and don't forget to flip wheels beam. Up the old blues. Up the old reds. Awesome. <laughs> Junction, but we found that underneath that membrane where it's all soaked and all that, and yeah. it's got the transformer on it, isn't it? Yeah. The uh, 240 connections are actually yeah, in they've, gel. Yeah, they've put them into gel. It actually ain't too, it no, ain't that wet, is it? It's not too bad, but there's definitely yeah. more it's got in there. But that one's, that one's got an internal uh, yeah. things, where that other one, which I quickly walk over and show you, is things. So, that's obviously what it is. We'll have to get a new uh, driver and sort it out for them. But this one's external. But we're obviously going to submerge it all in the gel and all that, Ollie, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Well, we put it all back together and then uh, we was going to swap them over, but by the time we dismantle it, we don't know if it's going to be. But it's got to be that because it yeah. does five of them. And we've found all the lights. Now we've moved actually onto these these stair lights where this side is fine but them ones don't work but that is actually been buried there so we're just trying to gather what they've done but we did notice with this because they seem to have uh, done the conduit on the wall it's all, all don't seem to be installed too badly to be fair but they've got this external driver there which this one's fine but that's what it is I suppose each one so is there a uh, so where's the job the uh because it's got an in and an out. So do you reckon we have to chase the cables and see if there's like one driver per, because that, that one's got, go to the next one and see if there's a uh, driver on the back of that one. There's one here. So is there enough a driver coming out the back of that? Nah. So that one driver must do all in three lights then? What, the, the stair lights? Yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't really make sense on that then. So why is that one working okay? That one's flickering a little bit, so. Do we reckon that's going to be the light signal rather than the driver? Yeah, if we if we pull this one apart and prove that that driver does them three lights, yeah. then we kind of can say, yeah, it's the light. Yeah, do you agree? Yeah. 
yeah we'll have a look at that yeah what we're going to try and do here is uh because i think i personally think that it's going to be the one driver for these three lights so what ollie's going to do is going to open up that whisker box and we're going to prove that one of those uh cables which we're going to presume is the 12 volt load goes in and out of this wall through there you can presume it's going to be conduited or just punched through in it yeah. and then if that one of these goes in and out of there in connectors and then to that one then you would presume that these are faulty lights not actual a faulty driver eh? does that make sense yeah we've had a look in here obviously we've nothing to do with this we're just trying to repair it for the guy but so if you see that conjurer you see that conduit there? Oops, something's popped out there. Yeah, that's a neutral on it. So them, them lights, they're still on. Yeah. That's a bit old, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It might even go to somewhere else. Yeah, we, we turn that off. Yeah. You'll probably be able to pop that back in. It's safe. These these ideal ones just got to lift that lever yeah. leave up. Yeah, so that connector is, so see these are all here, and is that what they are? Does, so we want to kind of figure out what's in that top conduit. So sort of. yeah, a, a, a flex comes out of that top conduit. Well, and then it goes out through the wall. Yeah, I can't see it go in and out of the the wall. I don't, I don't think it goes through the whisker box here. Oh, it does, yeah. So it goes, goes out the wall. Yeah. And yeah, in and out of the wall, out through there. Yeah, so that driver, so we've yeah. proved that that driver does uh, them three lights. So where that one don't work, I don't know if you can see from there, that one's flickering and that one's off. So I'd say that I would have a punt is that if we yeah. can try and pull one of these off, and we can get the brand. I think they're going to be Collingwood, aren't they? Yeah. Also, used, oh, that, they're used. Aurora. So as long as we get the voltage, it don't really matter. As long as we get the size and all that, yeah? We're, we're isolated. Yeah. <laughs> Real life, isn't it, really? Yeah. What was it, 12 volts? Yeah. Wouldn't have been too full here when it tripped off. And then we've got to go look at them lights there. Them two there don't work, so I want to say that that, that, that driver's probably hammered and this so the problem we've got this side is that this is all built up so we've managed to get it through so it's aurora 24 volt where that one had a driver so i reckon i reckon it's worth probably seeing if we can get spare ones i think uh the customer's a bit uh anxious not to dig this up but we've got to come sort out that bit there anyway so we might as well just do it all in one hit yeah. we've just got to check them two uh, spotlights lights over there might go on and guys put that back in yeah, because that one works and that one doesn't, and they've clearly wired all in, all off that one. So we've put the absolute—that's what we used to call SIL, wasn't it? The old wall. SIL. To his mates, he was uh, SIL. we go change that sensor and then we come back and energize this i think i think you can energize it after about 15 minutes can't you yeah. it says to leave for five so well five minutes yeah what about when it's minus 15. Right, it is later on in the week. Uh, I have my NFC inspection, so I'm just uh, with the other lads. Uh, we're re doing this rewire. This is for only Dan, so we're actually up in the house. So we've got the bar from there, which we've put four downlights, a fan, and a switch outside. 
I think we're going to put the fan ice like there. The kitchen, they're having a large extension on the back, so we're literally quite limited to what we've been doing here. So it's quite interesting because we're going to take down that, the display unit. Just uh, joining up with Reese and uh, the other lads. So we're just doing this rewire. This is for only Dan. So we've got the kitchen in there. They're having the extension and everything put in the back and all that. So we're quite limited to what we can do. So we're going to put a little pendant there or a baton holder with a pull cord, this is pretty much the same here. We'll probably move the light. We've got to take down that unit there. Then we're gonna come down mini trunk and stab up to all these bits, because this is all coming down in a year or two, so sign, hopefully. And then we've got down lights down here. Uh, we've already done the two two ways, because obviously Reese done the light and rewire, because we needed to clear that. This is all nice and chased out, so we're taste, uh, uh, we're just literally wiring today. We've got Reese Lenny Ebbs with us as well. So they've got the floor up. They're doing quite well. We've got the smoke already done and all that. We've still got to get the one in the kitchen recently, the smoke, the heat. So Reese and uh, Lenny are doing that. Ebbs is over there. He's getting through it. So we've done this all before. All this is done. So it's going quite well. Len pointed out nice one. All these cables, how high they are to the joystick. You see there. See how old the cabling is as well. Blimey, so we've got all that done. Lucky enough, uh, Dan, my friend, staying here, but his wife and uh, baby is uh, staying with their parents, which is local. So this has all been done. So it's going quite well. So hopefully we get the majority of the cable in today. And uh, then start bonding in the second fixing tomorrow, Monday, I suppose. Yes, old Lennis. Right. Lennis ain't got tickets for tonight, have you? No, maybe though. Maybe. Possibly. What do you reckon your mate? What, from yeah. the commentary? Yeah. Yes. Possibly. Heavy. How much you get the keys? What would he get a train down? Should he get a train down? You know, I think about midway games for people like that. Like this. Those keys are from Sheffield and also. People from Scotland. Yeah, there's quite a few, yeah. yeah. There's keys, are, yeah, actually, funny enough, there's keys are behind me from Leeds. Yeah. It's just mental. Yeah. All right, let's crack on. Ebbs here with me, moaning like shit. So, this is the old board that's coming out. These are absolutely lethal because they actually look like they're turned off, but they turn on. And uh, I don't know if you remember, we've done their condition report there. I always say that I would, uh, I will say that I will attach the, uh, attach the video above, but I never can find the right one. I should do a little list of them, Leonard, shouldn't I? Should do, mate. Oh, poor old Leonard's trapped in there. Look, someone's measured off with a tape. Someone's measured off the skirt in there, aren't they? Then rather Probably. measured off the floor. And that's why he's got to retrace that little bad boy. They've done it all yesterday. They did actually fly around. They've done, done them all. It's mine and Leonard's first day here, isn't it, Leonard's? Yeah. College is there. Yeah, is it college? You got your 18th next week, didn't you, guys? 18th, yeah. Yeah, it's going quite well. I was just, I was just saying to Lenny about uh, with the NIC. I had my assignment yesterday, and they, they were saying that we've got to all do CPD, and I've got to make sure we keep a log of it all. And he reckons even subcontractors. It's just like the amount of people is not going to do that. It's unbelievable. Evs, Evs has got to log it as well, haven't you? Your CPD, you've got to watch my YouTube. Imagine that if people put that down, they'd be like, All right, guys, slow down, mate. That's embarrassing. Right, be electric. Um, so that you find on, uh, have you got your one on there at all? Uh, I think this is to do with that lighting, isn't it? Look at that. There's three people down there. Is there? Hi, guys. Um... First time that I've recorded this year, so I guess I'll just say Happy New Year to you all. Welcome to 2023, even though it's a bit late. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd uh, do a little quick recording on this because it is atrocious. On the other side of this wall, out of the zone, we were chasing a um, chasing a cable, or chasing a new box in, and there was a cable running across, and now we know why. Look at this, and then, if I pull that, look at that bad boy. That is monstrous and very dangerous. But yeah, just the kind of things that you find on a little rewire in an old house with the DIYers doing it all. But there you go, happy days. And then tell us how you do it then. So, all right, first of all, got a laser there behind you. Yeah. Just to mark out the center of the box. Yeah. And then you you mark your holes with a marksman, make sure it's level yeah, as well. Yeah, you just want to do it on the wall just to show people, yeah? Well, just a uh, yeah. marksman one. Yeah, yeah. Just go like that and you... Oh, 
Yeah, do it on the, you can do it on the wallpaper, it don't matter because it's going to be reused. Yeah, so that comes, fires a little, oh, fires a little so bit of chalk you know out. You're going to yeah. drill your holes and then you drill your holes and then... Uh, what's the size gap you use between? Uh, 50 mil. And that, we use that as standard, don't we, mate? Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. on everything, yeah. Oh, nice one then. Sweet. That's for a, yeah, this is on a, above a mantelpiece, which is actually going to be a uh, TV. Nice one then, you've got, got for them all now, haven't you? We've yeah, still got yeah. to do the back to back on that yeah, one there. Yeah, we've got to switch there as well. Yeah, yeah. I might get you to do an extra chase for that, I'm not too sure yet. And we've got that switch over there, babes, yeah? Yeah, cool. Right, so it's the next day, we've got it all wired. We've literally just, uh, Ebs is just prepping up all the bonds and all that. It's a bit late in the day, I've had to change my van over. And I had some problems with the materials, but it's all been done. All right, then. Yeah. So you just finished the capping now, guys, yeah? Nice one. So it's just the bits in the living room, then, yeah? yeah. Then after that, do the down lights, yeah? Yeah, so Ebs is just doing all that. So it's just PVA in it, and your Ebs. Yeah. I ain't going to show people, just in case you start dropping it again. Yeah. So we've got all this here. Yeah. He's got about 25 double sockets, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh boy, bless him. He's got a uh, he's got bits and bobs. Got on the floor down. It's getting there. We're getting there. I'm doing the kitchen. I'll probably show you that what we got over there. Right, mate. Right, mate. Uh, we've already tried about football, haven't we? Not good. Yeah. Well, things starting to get better, weren't they? Yeah. We'll see you on the go from spot on there as well last night. So this is all ready to go down the trunk and all that. I'll do a quick update when I do all this and get this all nice and sorted. That's us done for this week. Uh, so this is all rewired. Dan's actually doing all the bonding himself, isn't he, Dan? Yeah. It's only Dan's. And we've got the lights. All that, that one there is not working. Ah, oh, they turned off, they were a separate switch. So Dan's got it, so the two alcoves were on one switch. And then the other one's on. We're not set them up yet, but... It's all temporary because we, that weren't bonded, so they're double two ways for the extension. So all is done. All right, there's all really see. It's a late one today. Well, that's all. That's it, Ebs. Yeah? yeah, that's done. So this is all temporary. So we just done little stabs and all that. They're just all waiting up there, ready to be what wide next re uh, week, Reese and then here because here, Ollie's on holiday. That's been moved down. And that's all ready to be done. We're putting the trunk in down that back bit of the wall and then punching through there into the top. I'm gonna to prep that up over the weekend for it, for Reese. All up here is all done. Lens up here. This was all done on the other visit, but we've got all the ACO smokes and all that done now. So we've got three going on in there. This is all what was done before. Them lights are on a sensor in there. And we're getting there, we're all done. Sorted. Has he done all the bonding? So they're all bonded yeah. up here. So these are ready to be second fixed. Uh, second fixed next week. I think uh, Reese and Lenny are going to do the kitchen first, and then probably do the uh, board on Tuesday and get it all ready. So all in all, it's all right, time. So obviously that's all temporary until it's all sorted. But it's all done. So all in all, it's sound. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything this week, then be electric. Up the old blues, you know. Oh, yeah. Imagine not being a spud. Not that.